Okay guys, we're starting a deck project. We actually started it already. We've got our pilings in. I just almost tripped over one. Anyway, uh, we use the, the, these big pilings. They go down four feet. Then they have a big bell on the bottom and they got a two foot square um, footing. Anyway, what do you do when you see this? Holy cow. The old deck wasn't properly flashed. So we got us some serious rot. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Uh, rotted, rotted out the rim joist. This is a modular and it's got a double rim. You can see where ants probably went in there and been doing this and just eating a place up. The, the outer sheathing is all rotten. All this stuff. Because, you know, ants will go wherever there's wet wood. So that's the main thing about keep, keeping a house is don't let the wood get wet. And you can see where this penetrates all the way back in. I, I can get back in there. to where I can feel the fiberglass insulation in there. Anyway, so that is a mess. But on this side of the wall, we've got Eddie and Connor, and they're jacking a wall up. They're actually going to build an inside wall to support the house while we clear out that junk on the other side of the wall and replace it with some new fresh lumber. And we're going to use treated lumber over there, Connor, just to sill. The silk uh, contacting treated. the concrete oh, will have to be tr treated, and yeah. it's all going to be treated. So we're not going to let this happen again. Oh no, just the silk is going to be treated. There's okay. no reason to treat, to treat anything else. Right. It's it's just the silk. Good people yeah. about why this happened in the first place. Yes, yeah, yeah. improper flashing. On a deck, yeah. So we That's basically the take these two by six. We're going to build a wall. Each one of these studs is about what are you doing connor 16th or uh, a no, quarter inch yeah about a quarter inch more now when we first started you couldn't move this insulation that they packed in yep and i so had rotted down on it but you add a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch to your number in between and you could jack the house up you want to make sure that each one of these these studs is underneath a joist right and there's sheetrock there deep. but we can tell where all the joists are because of the screws and the lines yep. where they had attached the sheetrock to so that's what we're doing here today. So you want another uh, another benefit of doing it this way is not over jacking with those jacks. Yeah. Right. You have windows and doors on. You get exactly in the wall over here. Plus, we'd wind up with uh, cracked sheet rock and more repairs to the patch on the on the up floor. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Bad. All right. I guess we better get the work done, huh? Yeah. The one that uh, I, I broke that other one. <laughs> People like to say these modules aren't built well, but if you look at this thing, man, it, it snapped and it's a double right rim, forward. all nailed twice through both rims into yeah. the floor joists, and they are tough, man, I'm trying to get these pulled. Well, that one went. That's cool. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> it's coming out piece by piece. If this hadn't rotted, it would... It, I mean, there's... Well, they're built they to drive put, up the road. They know? are, and look, they even put splice splices in between the rim so yeah they're, they're serious about it it's, i think what we need to do is that. uh get a get a saw blade and cut the nails off from the, from the top flooring, the good floor. idea but you're gonna maybe cutting wires off too i know so we gotta watch out for wires we can see most of the bays that we'll be cutting. well you know what above them so they gotta drill through above so yeah that too there you go so we can tell those things good thinking con i'll get right on it right after i get off this uh <laughs> this camera if you get off the camera? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> get off the camera, man. Uh, we're trying to do a tutorial, not an idiot collection. <laughs> well, then well, why'd you, you involve know. me? <laughs> when it's both, it's way more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Even the mice. Fiberglass insulation. Great mouse habitat. Yes. Hey. Hey, what's up? Uh-oh, here's our happy homeowner. <laughs> Don't look, Carol. This is like they're taking your gallbladder out and you have to watch. <laughs> I know, that looks so bad. Yeah. Is that the blink? It's a hero GoPro. Oh, you got a hero GoPro? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Connor said time for another video. We just wants to get caught working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So what do we got, Eddie? Oh, got a out there in video land, uh, <laughs> for starters. We got, <laughs> we got a bunch of junk wood laying all over the place and we got the yeah. area pretty much cleaned up now now that we got all the rot out of there we can see what we're up against there's a little bit of stuff here but that's not something we're going to worry about too much yeah, um, eliminate we can the nails and clean it up so the board's going easy yep i'm going to clean it all up oh i see some nail, nails you missed yeah, so we're ready for our phase two phase two rebuild all right any words eddie 
Yeah, let's get cleaned up here. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll put the camera down. We can sing, right. sing the uh, cleanup song. All right, we're getting a nice new treated sill put in place. That'll keep this thing. This won't rot out ever again because it's uh, treated. And none of it's going to rot out ever again because we're going to flash it right when we put the deck on. So yeah, that's <laughs> it looking pretty good. This is a, the prime example of why you got to flash a deck. <laughs> yeah, this is it, it right here. It doesn't get any more obvious than this one. Yep. Yeah, I mean, this, uh, it was done 30 years ago about, and they just cut the vinyl off and nailed right to it with their ledger board and that was it that was it It was all the flashing and it took about 30 years before it really started to pull off so that's well the flashing's code now it, anyway oh it is definitely code it's just somehow it made it so basically what would happen is um you know some decks that have fallen off that were two stories up yeah and killed people is because the wood rotted and once uh -huh. the wood rots deck pulls away falls down and yeah people get hurt so Got to make sure it's done right. It had a pretty wicked crown, too. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. don't anymore. <laughs> no, it's flattened it right out. So we had to crush that thing right in there. It took a little <laughs> persuasion with a hammer. Oh, that's nice. You're good. Yep. Kind of screw back, I guess. Woo. Hey, it landed right on a choice nut that yeah. it matters a whole lot in this situation. All right. Then we're doing a double. Got to match it up. What? We're going nice and smooth. Exactly. Right? Wow. Well, that was uh, You know what? That might keep her house up to the level it was at. It was was sinking a little bit. I think we've recovered our height. You got to get that end a little bit right there. Uh, let me let me do it. Are you going to narrate, Eddie? Eddie wants to do it. Uh, oh. <laughs> They do. They say when you get out of the camera, it changes people. <laughs> look at him go. Oh, look at that. Unreal. Put some screws in and tap it again. <laughs> and we'll keep forcing it in. This, the screws prevent it from bouncing. Yes. Well, we'll just stand there and tell me all about it. Get screwing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there we go. Bouncy, bouncy. All right, we still got some more screws to put in and stuff, but uh, we're gonna catch some screws that go right in from from up in this bay here. Actually, all the bays down through the plate and into our new wood. So we're gonna attach. It'll be attached between the the wall and the floors, so it's all solid. But they went in with a couple hammer taps, and uh, it's in. All right, now it's for tacking up some ice and water shield. What is this stuff, Connor? What do you mean? Ice and water shield. It's really good tar paper. <laughs> <laughs> With a granular surface. Yeah, and a sticky backing. So yeah, good. so it actually sticks right to the plywood. Yeah. And you can drive a nail through and it seals around it. Yeah. When it gets hot. It oh, really it sticks gooey. like crazy. It's oh. gonna stick and get gooey. and. So every nail we penetrate through this to hang a deck is going to get uh, it's going to get sealed by this ice and water shield. Awesome. So if we strike a line across there, we cut that.